Environmental sustainability. It's a hot topic in agriculture today, and it's capturing the attention of our nation's youth. They're not only concerned about food safety and soil conservation, but also the environmental footprints made by industry. Agricultural sustainability, I find, is a very large issue, mostly along the lines of wastewater management. Uh, water is a very precious resource, and I feel that we've been um, mistreating it, and we have to really take pride in our water and to help save it. Entering agriculture, you're concerned about the environment, not for, only for the well-being of, of everyone, um, but also that's our industry and we require the environment to, to produce livestock and crops, so it's very important to us. That's why environmental sustainability is also key in today's research. Research which is being closely linked to education at Nova Scotia Agricultural College. Dr. Nancy McLean is a researcher specializing in forage-based cropping systems, working to make the best of marginal land that is unfit for growing crops. Much of the land is not suited for growing crops for human consumption, either because of the slope, uh, too hilly or too stony or too poorly drained, and that land can grow very good uh, yields of forage crops which then can be utilized by animals and indirectly used by humans. Another researcher breaking new ground is Dr. Alan Ferdine. He investigates sustainable dairy production, which uses available pasture land for milk production rather than confining dairy cattle in a barn. We've done a lot of measurements on the greenhouse gas emissions from a pasture system, and we find that, that there's less greenhouse gas emitted from a pasture system. And part of that is due to the fact that there's less fossil fuel, less grain being consumed in that kind of a system. Then there's Dr. David Burton, a soil scientist specializing in climate change. His research examines how microbes in the soil affects the nitrogen cycle in our atmosphere, and in turn, weather itself. One of our concerns is that uh, in agriculture, if we're uh, generating greenhouse gas emissions, that's increasing the global warming potential of the atmosphere, and that's driving climate change. So we want to look at ways in which we can provide nitrogen to, to support crop growth while minimizing the opportunity for nitrous oxide production, which is a particularly potent greenhouse gas. All three of these researchers are also professors at Nova Scotia Agricultural College where they are able to directly pass along their research to students who receive a real hands-on approach to their university science education. Universities are a place where there's discovery all the time. Uh, there's a wide range of ideas put forth by students, by faculty, faculty working together, and they bring that perspective to industry problems. When we actually are interacting in our research or with our graduate students, it gives them opportunity to come out in the field and actually do the measurements and, and see how these, the, this process is done and, and, and do it, have a hands-on relationship doing that. And that, that makes it a bit more real, so we're not just talking about numbers in a textbook. They see where those numbers come from and how they can personally be involved in generating those numbers. It's nice because we're involved, we know what's going on and it's kind of like we're really close with our professors and so when they do the research and bring it to us it's we understand what's happening, we know what's happening and it's good. We feel like we're taking the practices that they're finding through the research and we can apply them through our everyday jobs and help to make a difference. The NSAC campus and classrooms double as living labs, including the college's own pasture land and dairy farm where most instructors are active researchers, letting students help solve real-world problems. When an issue arises that morning in the instructor's research lab, it will often end up in the course outline for the afternoon class. We actually have laboratory and field facilities uh, adjacent to campus, so I can actually take my students out of the classroom and put them in the field, and I'll give them the opportunity to do these measurements and, and, and have uh, direct uh, personal experience with that. And that, that's a really powerful way of motivating the students, and it actually it just makes it more exciting for both the students and, and for me as well. That's what uh, education is about. And so when I can bring uh, research into the classroom, uh, it, it brings examples of how we uh, are addressing the, the challenges uh, uh, that, that we're facing in society and, and how we are finding opportunities. And, and they're there. Students use the same high quality scientific equipment as professionals while they assist in solving problems and conducting research. And small class sizes offer a customized educational experience. It helps uh, greatly because uh, we get that extra attention so we really get the skills and the knowledge on a first hand basis and 
It really means a lot to us. It's a research-based university and I've had the opportunity to work on some pretty hefty projects uh, that have gained some national recognition. So that's meant a lot to me and I think that's an experience unique here. Industry-driven research can be an integral part of education today. And NSAC students will leave with not only a career-enhancing degree, but also real-life experience in identifying and solving challenges in the agricultural industry. Nova Scotia Agricultural College is forming the future of agriculture. Student Travis Esau grew up in blueberry country in the hills of Nova Scotia. So enrolling at the Nova Scotia Agricultural College was a perfect choice for him to further his education. Wild blueberries don't grow all over the world, and to be able to do research in blueberries, you have to stay close to this region here. So NSAC was a pretty natural choice. It, uh, it, uh, you need to have research close to the blueberry fields, and NSAC was the closest you can get. Today, as a second-year engineering diploma student involved in precision agricultural research at NSAC, Travis is not only learning new methods of agriculture for increased blueberry production, he's also conducting research on solving some of the problems facing this industry today. I grew up on a family blueberry farm and I'm concerned about uh, soil erosion and other, other environmental factors that play a part in the wild blueberry production here. And I hope through uh, research at the NSAC that I'll be able to, uh, I hope through my education I'll be able to adjust some of those concerns. This research gives uh, graduates like Travis so uh, uh, know how to solve the problems today and manage the challenges in the future. As one of only a dozen students in his class, Travis has the opportunity for a customized education in agriculture, using state-of-the-art equipment for research to solve real-life problems in blueberry production today. So by this way, we will uh, reduce uh, input use and increase the efficiency uh, of the inputs, and also uh, by this way we increase farm profitability and reduce environmental pollution. Nova Scotia Agricultural College is a living lab for research, striving to reduce the potential environmental impact of agriculture. And students like Travis engage in this challenge as both a student and a leader in the field. For more information, visit nsac.ca.